such a shame we're selling it. It's just, it's, it sort of breaks my heart because I love this. I do love this car. All right, Diat, bloody whatever it is. Dacia Duster, that's what that was. Dacia bag of shit, that's what that was. Dacia dust it under the bloody carpet because I don't want to look at it. That's what that is. Oh, oh. oh. oh no. <clears throat> oh. Does that work? the system that's what that is oh it feels like such a race car in here oh yeah I'm, I'm not the same size as Josh at all how do you do this these harnesses are nice but I can't fit in it I'm not as slender as Josh that's the trouble <laughs> I'm still trying to adjust everything that that right I think we're ready for liftoff it's a long procedure really but it's totally worth it. Right, what's up guys? So today you join me from the driver's seat of a 1998 Honda Civic Type R EK9. Now, as a lot of you know, this is my buddy Josh's EK9 and I have featured it many a time in some vlogs and I've actually done a review on this car before, way back when I started, which I look back now and think is a little bit questionable. So, I wanted to redo this review especially as I've driven a lot more cars, a lot more different power cars, feeling cars, and all this sort of business. So it's nice to jump back in something like this, um, something that I sort of started the channel with. Yeah, got it right. <laughs> Usually I'd put the uh, wipers on by now, but I'm doing pretty well. So straight away jumping in this car, well, you're sat on low rails, so you're very, very low to the ground in this car. What I did notice while being a passenger in this car is, in a normal car, and in every car I've actually ever owned, if I'm honest, my feet and legs are like this in the car, so you're sort of sat. In this, where it's so low, your legs are quite straight, sort of like a Lamborghini, because I've sat in a Lamborghini before, so it gives you the feel that you know, you're a lot lower in the car, your lower position, you're lower to the road, your steering is lovely and direct, there's no weight to it at all, which is exactly what you want in something like this. I must admit, when we're doing this in the morning, the gear knob is freezing bloody cold, so my hand is nice and cold at the moment. See, the trouble is with the bloody Isle of Wight, they just tear up all the roads, and then I come down it in this beautiful car, and we've got to be subject to raced ironworks and suspect road surfaces. I must admit, I keep on going for the indicator and I go like that, like that, because the steering wheel is so far out. It feels good, it's right close to you, but when you're trying to indicate, a little bit of a chore, you know, to try and get your hand from the steering wheel to the actual indicator stalk. Not a bad thing, don't get me wrong. It's just further away. The fact that Josh takes so much time to do every single part of this car really reflects how good it is. You're able to just drive it slowly with no knocks, no bangs, no dodgy sounds or anything. Someone that has a bad back like myself, these seats are surprisingly comfortable on long journeys. As a passenger, we've been on a couple of road, road trips in this car and every time I've been very surprised at how comfy these are so let's take this to the b roads i think as this is the b road basher that started it all for me i think it's only right we take it down some more b roads <laughs> oh when it comes on me taking such a good experience strapped in it's a fantastic day and i am on the best b road in the world in the world oh, oh there it is <laughs> oh yes oh this car is alive oh it's so good oh it's so good it just tracks through the corners like nothing else oh it's so good 
It is so good. You're able to come up to the corner, blip it into the gear you want, into second, throw it into the corner, it just fucking goes round it. It's so unreal, this car. And I think without a doubt, this is probably one of the best cars to do that sort of thing with. <laughs> it's spinning to second, into third. Oh. Best experience, honestly. B-Road bashing, this is the car you want. So, power-wise, first, second, fuck me, we're going now. Oh, oh, oh. oh, for such a light, nimble car, this thing can still accelerate like fucking mad. I love this. This is awesome. This is what driving's all about, cars like this. Let's go back down this B-Road because it's just so good in this car. This is the perfect car for the job. I really think it is. Right, so corner, flip it into second. You come in, you're on VTEC. You're ready to go around the other side. There's the VTEC. <laughs> coming back to this car that it's as good as I remember it. It's as poised and as aggressive through the VTEC as I remember it. I'd love one of these. I think they're fucking awesome. The thing is, Josh has actually put this car up for sale. He is moving on to the uh, world of Japanese turbos. So unfortunately, this car is up for sale. And I say unfortunately because it's just so good. It really, really is something that everyone needs to experience and someone needs to own this car it's so good i i preach to people if you want this much fun regardless of how clean and how poison it's just such a good car it just blows my socks off every time i get in this car someone needs to step up to the mark and buy this because you could be having this much fun and you could have a car this clean and i think again this is one of the cars that is going to see a massive price increase in a minute. I really do think that these are going to go through the roof soon. They're going to be a car that's sought after, especially in the white. It's such a shame we're selling it. It's just, it's, it sort of breaks my heart because I love this. I do love this car. All right, Diat, bloody whatever it is. Dacia Duster, that's what that was. Dacia bag of shit, that's what that was. Dacia dust it under the bloody carpet because I don't want to look at it, that's what that is. Obviously I'll go through the engine bay and have a little look around it, but if you want to see the original review to this, I'll put a link now and you can go and have a look at it. Um, very bad camera work on my part, dodgy iPhone technology I was using to uh, do the camera work, but head over there and check it out. But let's have a look around the engine bay. Now, obviously, in the previous review, I've pretty much gone through everything this car's got on it. Um, there will be links and stuff in the description um, with everything in this car. But a little breakdown. You've got a Mugen Power induction kit. Sounds awesome. You've obviously got your Jay's Racing Gen 1 manifold down there, which looks good. I love the colour of this. Looks really good, especially with the sun glistening off it at the moment. You've got your car bring. I think I've said that right. Um, strut brace there going along the bay. Um, your Maestro coilovers with your adjustment at the top. I feel really, really good on this car. Really do like it. But how clean and how good does this car look? Honestly, someone needs to step up and buy this because just look at her. And you could be down a nice little road like this and have this car. It's a dream, isn't it? That's a dream. It's a dream. <laughs> Said it i've said it out loud i love vtech so as an update review this i'm i'm blown away how good this car is from obviously driving all the others this is still as good as i remember it this is still the raw feel this is why i started it this car i think you know really opened my eyes when i first drove one of these to how fucking good they are and how much fun you could have and you know past the whole civic thing and you know a lot of people not liking them because they're hondas you need to come and drive one you need to experience how good these are they are unbelievable it really is an unbelievable car as a b-roader and as a all-round fun car it don't get any better than this in my opinion this is where it's at 
you can keep your Lambos, you can keep your Ferraris and all that bullshit. This is where it's at, this is where the fun is. This is where driving is. This is where the real life driving is. You know, there's a lot to be said for having something that's all expensive and flashy, but if you can have this much fun in this much car, why would you want anything more? I don't understand. Why would you want to spend millions of pounds on a car? This is as much fun as any of them. This is what driving, this is what, you know, enthusiasm for cars, this is what it's all about, is cars like this. As I've just negotiated the worst bit of road in the world. Remember guys, tomorrow DC5 t-shirt, 7 p.m. will be released. Can't wait to release them, can't wait to show you all, you know, the finishing fit. It's just, oh, I'm so happy with it, I really am. I think all the Honda nuts out there will like it as well. <laughs> so guys, I hope you like the video. Make sure you like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Cheers, guys. There's the VTEC! <laughs>